Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to export MySQL data to CSV file, with date range filter. Suppose, we do not want to export whole MySQL data to CSV file, but we want to export data which has been come under certain data. That means here we want to use date range filter, for export date range export data to CSV file, there many event occur in which we want to export, some data to CSV file. So, here we have covered this topic, in which we will step by step to discuss, how to export MYSQL data to CSV file in PHP script, by using date range filter. This is our testing database, here we have one order table, in this table we have already inserted some data, we will export data from this table to CSV file, by using date range filter in PHP. This is our index page, in this file we have already added bootstrap library and jQuery library. First we want to display order data on this page, so here we have make one table with five table column like, order ID, customer name, item, value and order date. For fill this table with data, here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nupta class, with MYSQL host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password set to blank. Below this, we have write dollar start date error variable is equal to blank value, and dollar end date error variable is equal to blank value. After this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from order table, order by order date in descending order. Below this select query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution, so for execute query, we have write dollar statement with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Now here we have write, for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write echo statement with open and close table row, and between this we have create five table data tag. Under first table data tag, here we have write dollar row order ID variable, it will print order ID data in this column. In second table data tag, we have write dollar row order customer name variable, it will print customer name record under second column. In third column, we want to display item name, so here we have write dollar row order item variable. In fourth column, we want to display order value data, so here we have write dollar row order value variable. And in last table column, we want to display order date data, 
so here we have write dollar row order date variable. So, it will fill order table with data. After this, we have proceed for export data to CSV file using date range filter, for this here first we have to create form. For this, here we have write form tag with method is equal to post. Under this, we have create division tag, with class is equal to input date range, under this we will create from date and to date text box. For select start date, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to start, from this text box, user can select from date. Below this, we want to display this text box validation error, so here we have write echo statement with dollar start date error variable. After this for select to date or end date, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to end date. Same way for display end date text box validation error, here we have write echo statement with dollar end date error variable. For submit this form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to export, by click on this button. Form will be submitted, and it will export order data which has come between this from date and to date in CSV file format. Now here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post export variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write empty function with dollar post start date variable. This condition will check, if this start date text box field has no value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar start date error variable is equal to, start date is required. After this, we have write else if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, with dollar post end date variable. This condition will check, if this end date text box field has no value, then it will execute if block of code. Suppose, above all condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to order data dot csv. So here we have define file name. After this we have write header statement and under this we have write content description define file transfer. Below this we have write header statement and under this we have write, content disposition define attachment, and file name set to dollar file name variable. Now we want to define application type, so here we have write header statement, and under this, we have write content type set to application CSV file. After this, we have write dollar file variable is equal to file open function with two argument in first argument we have write php output stream and second argument we have write w this function will open a file for define csv file header column name 
here we have write dollar header variable is equal to array with column name like order ID, customer name, item name, order value, and order date. Below this, we have write file put CSV function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar file variable and dollar header variable. This function will write data in open file. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from order table where order date greater than equal to dollar post start date variable and order date value less than equal to dollar post end date variable order by order date in descending order so this is date range filter select query below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution so for query execution here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will make query for execution after this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable it will fetch data from dollar result variable under this loop we have write dollar data variable is equal to array under this variable we will store temporary order data below this we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row order id variable it will order id data after this we want to store customer name data so here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row order customer name variable same way for store item details so here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row order item variable now we want to store order value data so here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row order value variable and lastly we want to store order date data so here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row order date variable so this way we have store order data under this dollar data variable now we want to write this dollar data variable data to open csv file for this here we have write file put csv function with dollar file variable and dollar data variable as argument it will write data in open csv file after this we want to close open csv file so here we have write file close function with dollar file variable it will close open file lastly we want to exit from code so here we have write exit statement it will exit from code and csv file will be downloaded now we have check output in browser friends here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see order data on web page in table format and above data we can see two text box for select from data and to date with export button first we want to check validation working or not so we have directly export button after click on export button on web page we can see start date is required 
Now we have select from date from date picker, and to date also we have select from date picker, now we want to export select date order data in CSV file, so we have click on export button. After click on export button, here we can see CSV file has been downloaded, now we have open CSV file. So, here we can see order data which has been come between define from date and to date, so this way we can export MYSQL data which has come between this from date and to date into CSV file.